In the early 80s, you know, we were running a lot of land then. There was very low expectations for making a large profit in cropping in the early 80s. You know, corn was very cheap, soybeans were cheap. And I told my wife, if we invest in a couple of animals that have recognition quality, number one, have some index quality, number two, and have a reputation, we can invest, you know, fifteen to twenty thousand dollars and not run all that land and have a much higher return on that investment. So I went to a sale in Intercourse, Pennsylvania, and bought a cow called Zcal Cletus Coral. I'll never forget that day. We agreed on him spending three thousand dollars to buy an animal. And that's what we had agreed on. Well, when he came home and had spent $15,500 on this heifer, I, I almost had a heart attack. Well, it ended up being that this heifer, after she calved, was the best Cletus in the country. And that put us on the map. That started the international interest and also the market for us. I think Tom is a very smart dairyman. I always told everybody, if I could convince her about doing a project, the bankers were easy because she's a very practical person. Tom loves these cows. Before we got married, Tom, Tom said to me, I think I love you more than my favorite cow. <laughs> The registered Holstein business is a business with a purpose. You can identify what you have. A pedigree is an excellent format. It gives you accurate information that is provable. And it should be able to almost, you should be able to visualize the cow, visualize her offspring, her parents, grandparents, and see where this cow is coming from and why. We've enjoyed working with all of the people at Holstein. Holstein is always there, always helpful, always kind, and always right on task. Holstein Association, to me, it's almost unfathomable, all the information they have. But without their database, it's all kind of for naught. These Holstein cows have taken us all over the world, and it's amazing. It, it sometimes amazes me. The people that we've met all through these Holstein cows, these registered Holstein cows. It's amazing. <laughs> people won't know my name or whatever, but they'll know a cow that my dad bred 20 years ago, you know? So um, that's pretty amazing to see. and. It doesn't matter what country you're in and, or where the person is from, they'll recognize the cow or the cow name for sure. So we slowly developed um, these different markets and we sent literally thousands of embryos to China. We exported a lot of live bulls there. At one time we had uh, some bulls in virtually every bull stud in China. We traveled over to Europe we sent embryos to um, Pakistan last year. But people want transparency, they want honesty, and they want what they want. If I could give the next generation some advice, it would be this. Number one, in your personal life, develop a reputation for integrity, honesty. And then number two, you know, resources on, on farms and in general are, are tight. So have a plan how you're going to make money on what you do. You first evaluate where you're at, where you want to go, and how you're going to get there. And But young people should join forces with two or three other people and buy something that they couldn't probably afford on their own. And then develop that to the max, you know. Number three, belong to all the programs at Holstein that you can. 
TriStar whole thing complete. Take advantage of every opportunity that's there. And number four, promote what you've got. Take the opportunity to tell either fellow breeders or international marketers, if you want to go into the international market, and there's a market in this country too. Advertise something that's relevant, something worth talking about. And number five, never sell somebody a bad cow. Even though I say to Tom, it's time to retire, <laughs> Tom is just not ready. He said, certainly not at this time because we need to keep our minds sharp and keen and keep moving forward. It's always forward. We have a herd that isn't humongous, but when Tom markets these registered Holsteins, people are just coming back for more. That really is an accomplishment in itself. They all become our friends. What else could you ask for? And, and it's all because of these Holstein cows. Um, I don't, I haven't done everything completely right, but in many cases I did it my way. And um, then you accept the consequences of that and the, the benefits of it and the, and the shortfalls of it. And, uh, but this is what gives me satisfaction. And um, that's a pretty good way to live your life. <laughs>